Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. I had a subscriber ask me about this knife last night. This is a more companion stainless steel, heavy duty. And for the past 10 years, I've only been using the light duty knives, Mora's. So I requested this for Father's Day and when I got it, I did a review and all that will be down in the description. Made a couple videos with it. And then I just put it back, put it in the drawer and put it away. It's just a little bit more difficult to sharpen that edge and to sharpen that spine, but it's still a decent knife. Let's go ahead and put it through its paces today. We'll baton with it, we'll feather with it, we'll strike the ferro rod, maybe scrape some fat wood. Let's see if it can still do work. And here is the Smith's sharpening stone. It's coarse on one side, fine on the other. And I've been telling you for years that I bought this at Home Depot, but I don't think they sell them anymore. I think a competitor has gotten Smith's run off from Home Depot. Maybe you can get it on the website. And to sharpen the spine, I hold it good and square to that coarse side and drag back about 10 times. And you can tell if you got it right by if there's a burr kicked up, which there is. Let's go ahead and baton this piece of tulip poplar. And here's another big box store. I got this Corona razor tooth saw from Lowe's and I'm not sure that they still sell that, but you know, this is widely available online. It's not gonna be too much of a test. That's pretty punky right there. It'll let us look the knife over though. See what kind of feathers we can get off of that. It'll make all the shavings in the world that you want to make. Let's see if we can ferro rod ignite them. Bayite keychain ferro rod, three and a half inches long by five sixteenths. More companion stainless steel, heavy duty. Instead of hold on, more companion stainless steel, heavy duty. That is a 3.2 millimeter thickness blade. And what I've been using for 10 years is the thinner one, the two millimeter blade.
Let's let it build up some intensity, some coals, and then we'll rake it off into the stove. Popper took right off, didn't it? Alright. Now. Let's see if we can scrape some fat wood. Try to cut those ripples off. got shavings but I was hoping to get some scrapings of course that's more than enough to fire up those leaves but let's see if we can get our scrape on now that I've cut away all of those ripples Scrapes. That's unusual to not have any resin stuck to the spine. It's a good scraper, isn't it? Looking good. All right, let me go find a piece of oak out of the woods over here. And let's go ahead and feather it up a little bit. Well, I couldn't find any oak, so let's just use the rest of this rotted up tulip poplar. Let's cut away all this punky part and see what kind of a core we have. Let's just concentrate on this punky part, and that's what will ferro rod ignite.
Right, let's see how flammable that is. So far, it looks pretty flammable to me. And as you could have figured, the more companion stainless steel heavy duty can still do work and lots of it. Do me a favor now before you leave the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.